If you need help building your team or selling your coins, make sure you head on over to CheapMaticCoins.com for the cheapest prices, fast delivery, and 24-hour customer support. And use code WOLF for 15% off. Yo, what's up, everybody? It's King Wolf. Welcome to today's video. And today, I'm going to show you guys a money play out of the Titans playbook, man. Someone had requested it in the comments, man. I was like, you know what? Let me do a play out of the Titans real quick. Cover three beater. Two actually is two plays. I'm going to show you the easy one to run first because it's just a very simple curl concept that gets open pretty much every coverage in the game. Besides maybe cover two hard flats. So be careful if you're going to use the first play I'm going to show you against like cover two hard flats. Anyway, make sure you drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel for more content. And I want to know who you guys think in the comments right now. Who's going to make it out of the West and the East in the first round right now. I want to see your picks right now. And then I'm going to come back to this video when it's all said and done. Because I like come back to the older comments whenever I ask you guys this and see who is right, man. You know what I'm saying? I'll give you a shout out. I'll give you a shout. Whoever's right, you got to pick West and East. Whoever's right, man, I'm going to give you a shout out at the end of the first round. But if you're all wrong, man, I'm going to call you all out, bro. All right. Anyway, let's talk about this. We're in the Titans playbook. And the name of the formation. And this, these plays are actually pretty good. Man. I'm not going to lie. If you're not using... Uh, the the why off trips right here weak the, then I don't know what to tell you bro but there's some other plays in here that you can run like the PA slide with some crossing routes you can run uh the high low dig but the first play because what I like to show you guys are the consistent plays plays that you can always run like you can save them in the bag for when you like need a first down like say it's third and six right then you come out with curls right here especially if your opponent's running a lot of cover three defense right so we're gonna come over here to cover three we're just gonna run random cover three now why am I always showing you guys cover three defense because whenever you get to the higher tiers that's what you're gonna be facing primarily cover two and cover three you're not gonna be facing a lot of cover four quarters and stuff like that because if someone on a high level is playing someone else that gets to that high level, they already know that their opponent can smoke him if they're like in cover four quarters because there's just so many routes that can't be guarded with those de those defenses. So right here, all you you can actually just run the play stock. You can, but what you want to look for is the B route, just like this, gonna be open every single time in cover three, uh, in cover four, in most cover twos. That's the only problem is that in some cover twos like hard flats, it might not be open. Uh, so be careful. Primarily use this me personally if I recognize that my opponent is just running a lot of cover three defenses You know what I'm saying? Like I will come to this as my money play But some adjustments you can make is you could take RB put him on a streak I recommend you actually do that So that zone has to like gravitate toward him and away from the B route because sometimes they they can Jump into that zone. So I recommend putting RB on a streak pass blocking your running back and then using X on an in route just in case the user does bite that curl route because sometimes it does happen it's happened to me before and then when they do that with their user then the x route comes right over the middle field and it's just money all day but what you want to do is wait for that cloud to bite the flat route and then just drop it right here to this guy he's going to be open pretty much every single time against cover three cover four cover six all those except like i want to say i haven't ran it against cover two hard flats but i know one of the other ones that i run uh it always gets stopped uh in cover two hard flats like they're in the way so you got to be careful uh, every play has a stop. They can man you up. They can man up B. They can cross man up, things like that. So you got to be very careful. Pay attention to the safeties, bro. Whenever I play a line, I'm not looking at the D lineman. So if you're looking at like the, the D lineman or what the linebackers are going to do, I don't look at that. What I do when I come out of the huddle is I do look at the personnel. I do look at the uh, people he has down on the line. If I see like four men down, then I look for how many linebackers he has. If he has a bunch of heavy linebackers uh, in, in, the, in the play, then I know I can do something outside on some crossing routes or deeper pass plays. But if he takes them out and he has faster backs, then you know he's trying to play coverage. So then you can try to uh, establish a run game or a short pass game and then just go from there. It's just it's all about just reading your opponent. Player tendencies are probably one of the biggest things that people overlook in Madden is recognizing the player tendencies. If there's anything I can tell you guys, it's that. But right here, like I said, once he gravitates for there, we're just going to hit the B route right here every single time. If you guys are in the Saints playbook, you know that the Saints curls works the same exact way in this play right here. This is three deep right here. I'm just going to run the ball uh, and then we'll get out of that. So remember, uh, the adjustments I recommend for you, you can run it stock, you can, but the adjustments I recommend to stretch out the defenses is force the uh, linebackers to back up RB on a streak. Pass block the running back for extra protection if you're like getting pushed on a blitz or something from the left side. Maybe they're running like a cat blitz or, or they're running like a, a, a slot corner is, is coming on a blitz. 
you can do that slide protect to the left you know put x on the in route as your bailout route so that way if the user does jump to that route then boom you know what i'm saying like right there i i could have i should have thrown that but i had the flat wide open see the thing is i delayed because i wanted you guys to see this right here sometimes you're going to see this and you can actually just hit the flat route that's my fault i should have thrown it but I saw it and I got excited, man, just to show you guys, because I think it, I think it's a good deal for me to show you guys this right here. Sometimes you're gonna come across this right here, and if you pay attention to our tight end, he's gonna come on a flat, but he's gonna come wide open. So if that ever happens, just hit the tight end. As you're gonna see right here, uh, right here, this corner is just gonna back up too far, bro. You see what I'm saying? They're gonna back up too. Look at all the space right here. I could have thrown it to this guy right here. He he will still eventually bite the the tight end route, like as right here. You see where this guy is sitting. But I could have just thrown it to him and got like a good three or four yards, maybe five yards, depending if it's like third and down. If it's like third and six, don't look for your tight end. You want to try to hit this route right here. This is the route you want to look for most of the time. That's This is the route I'll throw most of the time. Okay. But I just want you guys to see that there are some plays where your flat route just gets completely wide open like this. And that's what I saw. All right. So we just talked about that play. Uh, let's go ahead and show you uh, the money play, man, that I, I just think it's just awesome, man. Uh, we're going to come back to the Y off trips week. Uh, right here and the name of the play is the slot two buck this play right here doesn't need any adjustments man against cover three you're gonna see something happen that like I don't know what they did to the game bro but I can just run it stop I'm gonna slide protect left now this is the Titans I don't know how well uh, the offensive line is gonna react it, it, this all just depends on time and how fast uh, our receiver is probably want to have your fastest where the RB route is where sharp is uh, but I'm going to try right here. But I want you to pay attention to the left side of the field. Watch the extra and watch what happens to that blue over there, okay? Uh, watch what happens. You'll see him just, just take off with him. And then RB over here by himself on the one play touchdown. So it's another glitch play. I don't know what's going on with Madden and all this, all these glitch plays, man. But this is why... This is why I don't like using cover three online. You guys always see like most of my gameplay, I'm in cover two. Because cover three is just so easy to just manipulate... And, and that's just poor development and it's like it's like rex said or i think it was rex he 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 approached these the higher ups about the gameplay and they're like nah that's not marketable we gotta do what's good for little johnny you know what i'm saying so you know it is what it is but i want you guys to pay attention to the x route this is a random three uh cover three defense and if i have the time because like i said these guys you'll see that right here this guy's gonna be open you know what I'm saying? Now, if you have like Mahomes or someone faster or the Vic card, you can just roll out of the pocket. I mean, you're good. You're great. You know how it works. <clears throat> but if you're getting blitz, it's harder to throw passes like this because if you're getting blitz, then chances are that play is not going to work. Now, if you want to isolate the blue even more, put Walker on a streak and then I'm going to slide protect left and, and just run it that way. But the in route forces that blue. This guy's going to come get me. You see, he's even more wide open right here because that tight end on the streak is going to force that middle blue to be isolated so that's a glitch play right there for you guys to use against cover three cover two is not going to work things like that if you're going to run it against like cover two this would be the setup uh the way i would set this up is is like this it's x on a streak okay just like that i'm going to pass block my tight end i'm going to block my running back slide protect left and drag b this is going to be my setup right here okay rb's going to get underneath if i got to dump it off to the drag route because of pocket presence then i will as you're going to see right here Actually, that's hard flats. But right here, this guy's going to be open. We're going to overthrow it. Now, the middle blue, if you throw it too early and they have a middle blue there, he's going to pick that off. So you got to be careful. But let me go ahead and show you guys one more time. The cover two drop. It's, it's harder to throw against this one right here. Let me put a middle blue out there. Let's try to make this look as uh, real as possible. So what I'll do is I'll block the tight end or you can use your tight end. However you want to do it. But if I'm looking for the, for the deeper pass, then I'm going to try to block as many people as I can. So X on a streak, leave RB where he's at, drag B, or do whatever you want with B. I prefer you drag B just in case you need a bailout route. Now that last play, there was a hard flat, so I couldn't throw the B routes. You saw right there, if you, if you go back and watch that again, you'll see it. But right here, this guy's just running all over the place, bro. Look at this. But then you have RB right here. Now, oh my, oh my God. Now the user obviously can pick that off, so be careful, run it sparingly, just try to run it, but don't throw it if you see the user following him. Just things of that nature, man. Be careful. Also, what you can do uh, in cover two is you could set it up. We got Tampa two. We'll put a middle blue here. What you can do is take X, put them on a street, right? You could put Y on an out route if they're not blitzing you. Pass block your tight end slide protect, okay? 
uh, and then you want to drag beam. Now, what you can do if they allow you, I, I don't know because I haven't tried motioning this guy over, but start him on a motion, then snap the ball. Okay, so it does work, but he ran into someone. This guy's just going to come right off the edge. I'm just going to dump it off. Well, actually, I'm going to... I don't know why overthrowing is so bad in Madden, bro. I just don't get it. Um, Underthrowing, overthrowing, throwing on the run. I get the throwing on the run thing, but that close, I don't, I don't think it should be a thing. So X on a streak against cover two. Uh, put Y on an out route or block him. Block your tight end. Drag B. Okay. Slide protect left. And then motion this guy in to try to get him a little head start on his route. You see right there, he gets a little head start. And then there he goes right here. I'm going to low ball this. Boom. It, that's the way I would run it right there. So those are two plays. You got a glitch play. And then you have uh, the curls. And then if you want to run it against like cover two, then there's a setup there for you. Although, if you're going to be playing someone and they're running a lot of cover two constantly, try to run like the fades on the outside, hitting that, that weak spot of cover two on the corner. Force him out of the cover two defense into a cover three, then hit the cover three beaters. You know what I'm saying? Or run flood concepts against cover two defense. Go into your playbook, go to concepts, look for flood or whatever. You know, look for the flood concept and then try to run that. But make sure you have a streak out there. Drop a like on the video, man. Subscribe to the channel for more content. Love you guys, man. Peace.